It is all about balance. Balance, balance, balance. <laughs> B minus. Oh, B minus. <laughs> Morning, Charlotte. Um, so the only equipment you'll need today is um, just something to, to reach towards um, on the floor. <clears throat> I'm going to use a foam mat. But, um, yeah, you can have anything. Just just so you're reaching forward towards it. Um, there's a lot of plyometrics at the end uh, where we're going to do hopping sticks. But we're going to do a bit of a warm-up. Then we're going to go into um, static balance, first of all. Um, and then we're going to go into a bit of dynamic balance. And then we're going to go into our plyometrics. So we've got a wee bit more um, of a structured class for balance today. Um, you're probably going to find the outside your shins working quite hard. You might find your glutes working quite hard. That's absolutely fine. That's the two parts that we're really wanting to work. Uh, quads will definitely work as well. Probably won't feel too much of hamstrings, but if you are feeling hamstrings, uh, let me know at the end um, which jaw you felt them in, just so we can maybe tweak it for, for next time, because it shouldn't be too much hamstrings. Although they'll be working, and um, it shouldn't be too much of them. Pop spot in for everyone. Excellent day, and then we'll just get going. So, nice easy start today. I'm just gonna pop the um, recording on. So, we are going to start with toe yoga. Not done toe yoga for ages, so we're going to do a little bit of toe yoga. So, we're going to have ourselves. Um, just having the big toes coming up and then the small toes going down. So big toes coming up, small toes going down. Just like playing the piano with your, your toes and stuff. Really try to get that um, big toe working independently from the other ones itself there. Good work. Just going to try and waking up the feet in the and warm up the toes and the ankles, you get them moving just so that there's a lot of range. And then when we start doing our balance work, we can really try and balance to a bigger range itself. Good job. Halfway there, 30 seconds to go. And again, you'll find that the knees will change position when you're pressing down to your big toes. You'll find your knees will want to come in the way. As you're pressing the little toes down, the knees want to go out the way. So internal and external rotation or pronation and supination so it's all good movement through there and if you're struggling to get the toes to work independently just use your fingers just use your, your hands to press down through it in three two one we're going straight into box drill off the left hand leg so left hand leg is going to stay static we're going to step forward reach high we're going to step back reach low forward that. As we step forward, ankle joint closes off. As we step back, ankle joint opens up. As we step forward, hip joint opens up. As we step back, hip joint closes down. So ankle and hip are doing the complete opposite. Really reach and that down. No speed, no rush. You might find hamstrings working here. Don't be alarmed, that's quite normal, because as we stretch back, you'll feel the hamstrings. So regarding everything I said at the start, you will feel the hamstrings just a wee small bit here. Not a good start, I'm losing my balance and the warm-up to the balance drills. <laughs> 10 seconds. Five. And we're going to switch over, right foot stays still, left foot's going to work forward and backwards. You can stretch you the whole body, don't force anything, but just try and introduce new movement as we go. Stretch through and back. Halfway there. 
So the key thing with balance is we're really trying to get our eyes not to look at the ground the whole time. So we're trying to get our eyes to look away from the foot when we're doing all the drills today. So if you can, take a good look at your toes now and try and forget what they look like through the whole of the drill itself, okay? A lot of the first part is long static holds and then we're going to go into some dynamic work itself. Now just really check uh, where our balance is. If you need to use a wall, please do. Just use light fingertip touch if you do need to as well, okay? In three, two, one, back to the left, our side this drill, and over, keeping that leg nice and straight. Whole foot on the ground the whole time. So really try and press down through the pinky toe there, because you'll want to lift the foot off, and press through pinky toe and then press down through big toe as well. Knee stays super straight. And you'll find inner groin getting a good stretch as we go this way. And you might find outer hip working hard when you go the opposite way. Good work. 15 seconds. Five, three, two, one. Switch over right foot stuck, left foot working. Keeping that knee dead straight as we step out. And in. Again, knee on the inside, or sorry, outside of the ankle. Knee now in the inside. Outside, inside. Really trying to get that ankle joint moving, so keep the foot heavy in contact with the ground. And you might find the arms do some cool movements themselves. Let the arms be themselves. They can move wherever they want to go. Lots of clunking and clicking today. Fifteen seconds just. <clears throat> Three, two, one, and relax. I'm going to show you the first drill. So our first drill, we're straight into our static balance itself. Static balance. So. What we're going to do is on our left leg, we're going to stand. On our right leg, we're going to reach forward, touching onto something there, and we're going to hang out there for the whole minute. The second one is going to be out to the side for the whole minute. The third one, out to the back, whoa, eh, for the whole minute. And the fourth one, out to the side for the whole minute itself. Okay, we're going to do four off the left hand leg. Then we're going to do four off the right hand leg. So we're really going to fatigue that leg as we go. Okay? You can have something to reach towards if you wish to. Otherwise, you don't. It's entirely up to you. You're the boss of you. Three, two, one. Off we go. Long and stretch out and hold that pose. Knees are going to be soft. Hands can be on the hips. Hands can be out balancing. Hands can be touching on the wall. And um, keeping yourself here, try not to look at your feet, okay? So look anywhere but your feet. But I want you to visually imagine what your feet is feeling like on the ground. Is the big toe in contact with the ground? Is the pinky toe in contact with the ground? Is the heel in contact with the ground? And where about am I actually moving? Do I feel my core having to work hard? Do I feel my knee? Do I feel my quad? Do I feel my calf? Everything's going to be slightly different to the different positions we're going to be in here very much quad and calf that you're going to feel. Holding this position here. Keeping the balance nice and strong. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, drive back out. Give a light little shake off. We're going to lateral next. So lateral, still going to be left leg. Still going to be left leg. So left legs down, three, two, one, 
out to the side, hold here. Foot on the right hand side is off the ground. Knee soft on that left hand leg. So you should be in this position from the side view. Good job. Again, don't look at the toes, looking straight forward, keep the head and chest up nice and tall. Really working the static balance. Glute here is going to be working to stabilize that leg. Glute here is going to be working to stabilize this leg. Calf's already letting me know that it's working hard as well. Knee's going to be bent, not locked out. In case the knee's bent, definitely not locked out. Hold it as wide as you can. Try and eke out a couple of extra centimeters of that width of the leg. Five, three, two, and come back and give that little shake out. Good job. Behind now, so on the left leg, out we go, all the way back. Hold in that position there. Again, try not to look at your feet. I may be cheating because I can see my feet in the screen. But try and keep your head up tall, chest up tall, press down through, um, big toe, little toe. All that stabilizing muscles running about that calf are going to be asking you questions now. Glutes going to be asking you questions now as well. Question one being why? Why are you doing this? <laughs> to really stabilize that leg, really work hard. Head up tall, chest up long through the spine, keep yourself nice and long through that ribcage, trying to roll down, trying to look at the feet either, keep yourself long, 15 seconds. Three, two, and step up and step back, give your leg a little shake out there. Woo -wee. That left leg's working really hard. You can feel the whole leg just feel very, very heavy now from all the work we've done. But one to go. Stance round the back. So in three, two, one, arms out, ready right around. Back foot's not touching, it's just hovering. Soft knee at the front. Head up tall, be long through the spine. You can a couple of, set, uh, couple of extra centimeters. Really balance here, strong foundation. Glutes gonna let you know it's working now. Long through the back leg. Ten seconds. Three, two, and drive through. Excellent work. Give a little shake out. Well done. Good job. All that again on the right hand leg. So forward first of all. Three, two, one. All the way forward. Good reach there. Have some for balancing your knee. That's absolutely perfect. Good. Hold here. Head up tall, chest up tall. Looking straight forward. Knee soft. Good job. And there should be small movements around about your ankle all the time. The ankle's just continually checking to see where about it is in space. So don't be alarmed if you think, oh gosh, I'm really wobbly. That's what it's meant to do. It's meant to be rechecking. Just kind of feeding back to the brain saying, this is where your foot is. This is where the ground is. This is where the foot is. This is where the ground is on constant repeat. So it can let you know where the ground is and how you're going to react to it. In three, two, one and back out. Good job. Go to our lateral next. Ready? Three, two, one. Stay wide. 
Again, looking straight forward, trying to let the feet do their own thing. Use the feedback from the feeling rather than the seeing of the foot itself. All the way, it's going to be on right leg here. Left leg, keep it as high as you can. Really hold it here, really work hard. Fifteen seconds. Keep the breathing nice and controlled. Two, one, and back in. Good job. Two to go, guys. Two to go. Right foot forward. This time we're sliding left foot back and then the hover. And the knees bent on the front leg in three, two, one. Out we go. This is where the quad, calf, glute are all working hard. Have the hands out if you need to. Hold on to something you need to. Keep the head and chest up, definitely. All the way to the front leg, back legs off the ground completely. Wow, now we're picking halfway there. Press through the big toe, press through the pinky toe. Glute should start to feel alive now. Chest over the foot, front of the hip, with the sternum itself. Four. Five. Three. Two. And drive through. Good job. Your leg will shake out there. Well done. Ready? Right foot stance. Left leg round the back this time. Okay, so right leg on. Left leg round the back. Ready? Off we go. Definitely hands out. Hold in this position here. Knees still soft, so knees still bent on the front leg. Hold here. Hold here. Head up tall, chest long. Doing well, Ian. Hang in there. Really getting that foot strength, that calf strength, that glute strength all working together. You're a fishing rod. The line and the hook, make them work together. 10 seconds. Three, two, and come back out. Well done, your legs are shaped off for entire. Static movements now, static movements now. So our first one is, unfortunately, fight a monkey. Fight a monkey for two minutes, two minutes each leg. So it's going to be quite hard work. The glutes are going to be screaming at you by the end of this. If you do need to put your foot down in between, that's absolutely fine. It's two minutes on the left. Two minutes on the right, so we're fighting monkey, okay, in three, two, one, off we go, and we're just going to let that other leg move quite dynamically, so all the same positions what we were in before, but we're just going to keep moving through the range, letting our core twist, rotate, go up towards the roof, go down towards the ground, out to the side, good work. Long stretch, drive through, out, and around, stretch, really good work, down to the ground. No speed involved, just whatever you can control. A little bit fast, a little bit slow. Let the body move to 
compensate for wherever the leg's going. Use the hands. If you find the hands are pinned down by your side, you don't find your quite restricted. So let the arms go wherever you wish to go. Don't let that monkey get you. Hold, 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 working hard. Outside of shin's gonna let you know it's working hard. Glute's gonna be working hard. Have a wee tap the glute to make sure you can feel it's working. If it's not, lean forward a bit more. 30 seconds to go. Underside of the foot's gonna be screaming at you now, letting you know it's been in a bit of work today. If it's too much, back off. Good job. Okay. Five, three, two, and relax. So get the leg little shake out. We're on to our right hand side now. Right hand side, fight your monkey. Three, two, one, off we go. It all starts off with great intentions, lots of movement, lots of dynamicity. And near the end, it's literally just holding on for the last 10, 15 seconds. Really explore movement with the hands. Try not to look at your feet at all. So try and look anywhere but your feet. Use that feeling. Use that feeling of the ground. Good work. You hear a lot of clicks and clunks around about the ankle joint, all that bones moving in the foot, which is excellent, it's good. That's what we're looking for. We've done the static work, so now we're just going to work on a little bit more of that dynamic itself. Four or five seconds to go, doing really well. Keeping that stance, the legs slightly bent. Now, perineals will start to let you know they're in a, a wee bit of a workout. The loop's going to let you know as well. Round the back if you can. If you really want to target that glute, get that left leg around the back of the right hand side. Three, two, one, and you beat the monkey. Well done. Good. We're into our next one. It's going to be our arabesque. Okay. Arabesque. So we're going to be single leg stand. And all we're going to do is come down, touch the ground, drive through. Okay. In the stance position, the knee's going to be super, super straight. Okay. And we've got three by a minute on each leg here. Okay. Three by a minute. Starting in five, three, two, one. Super, super slow. Don't worry about how many reps you get done. Down, touch the ground, back through. If you need to use the wall, please do. We've been on that single leg on that left hand side, and we're just working through our range of motion there. Really press down to the ground with the foot. Drive through. Excellent work. I like I said, maybe not hamstrings. I'm feeling hamstrings already. So the one thing I said you wouldn't feel, I'm probably feeling them the most. <laughs> Squeeze that glute as you lean forward. So really hip hinge and then drive through. 15 seconds. Underside of the foot's going to be working hard. Perineals are going to be working hard. Last rep, drive through, and switch over onto the right hand leg. You might find one leg is different from the other, so you might have to work hard on one side. Three, two, one, off we go. 
If you're working hard, you tend to slow it down, so that's absolutely fine. Keep it nice and controlled. Good speed, good depth of movement. All the way down. All the way back up. work. Keeping the knee just soft on the way down and then pushing the knee back as we extend the feet. And switch back over, run to the left hand leg and second set, left hand leg, second set, left hand leg. Ready? Off we go. Through. Really use that foot to steady the shape if need be. Breathing nice and controlled. Halfway there, second rep. Work nice and slow, nice and controlled. Five. Last rep. And switch over. Second set of the right hand leg. Doing well, guys. Again, try to look at the feet. Ready? Off we go. Good job. And switch over the last set. Left leg. Whoopee. Left leg. Ready. Off we go. And lotion go up top. As low as you can go up top. Low. Drive. No. Drive. Good work. Halfway there. So far. Three, two, switch over. Last set, right leg, guys. Last set, right leg. Ready, let's get it going. Right leg's on. Off we go. Good work. Good with the posture as we stand up tall. Drive through. Drive through. Four. 
10 seconds. Well done, well done guys, good job, well done. If you've got shoes on, great. If you've got socks on, just pop your socks off for this next move, that's okay to do. Just do a little bit of proprioceptive work and also uh, play magic. So, easy drill. All we're going to do is we're going to hop forward, step backwards, hop forward, step backwards. For the first drill, our second drill is actually going to be our skaters. Oh God, terrible example. Stick, 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 stick. So two minutes of work all together, okay? Uh, two minutes on each, uh, one minute on each leg for the hop and stick, then one minute in the stairs. Three, two, left leg, off we go. So hop, stick, hop, step back. Make sure the stick's good, so we're going to land, soft knees, soft glutes, everything's compacted down. They jump, land, jump. Doing well. 10 seconds. And relax there, straight into the right leg. Right leg, ready, off we go. Okay, try and control that landing. Four. You need to use the walk, please do. If you want to just get it back, just go double legs. We're going to skip down any further. Start two, drop the one. Start two, drop the one. And relax there. Skaters to finish off with. One minute skaters. Ready? Left leg to right leg. Off we go. So just really hold that position at the end. Five seconds. Ten seconds. And time. Oh, oh me. Well done, guys. I've just paused the recording. Really good job. Lots of different balance work there. Starting off with just moving the ankle joint, trying to make our triangle of movement as big as possible and then we try and balance within that triangle itself there uh, first of all statically so really working really fatiguing the muscles so that when we go to dynamic they're already hadn't done a bit of work they've got to work even harder after saying you won't feel hamstrings i pretty much felt hamstrings the whole of that last drill <laughs> any questions any queries any concerns at all there guys out of breath
No, all good. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, really focus on, even if like two or three times a week, you just do like a small set. So we did about maybe 30, I think it was 31 minutes that we did there in the class. But even if you're doing like a five minutes of just either balance work or just hopping from one leg to the other, just do like a, an eight to 12 repetitions, just to really try and get used to landing and controlling that movement as best you can. So that when you don't need to think about it when you're out running, it just happens automatically. And that's why I didn't want you to look at your feet. I want you to be thinking about feeling the ground. When you feel the ground, you react to it rather than seeing the movement and then you react to it. Because nine times out of 10, you're not really looking at your feet when you, you're out in the trails, the tracks, or out for a run itself. But uh, that was the main purpose for that. Good job. Well done. Thanks, well, we'll see you next week. The setting for next week um, might be at my house, so there might be a couple of terrors running about, so that'll just add to the mix <laughs> up there. But yeah, the last week of school holidays, um, they might be there, so <laughs> bear with me. I'll try not to. Cheers, James. <laughs> right, we'll see you next week, guys. Bye now.